Hey friends, today in this video we will see how to get motion triggered alerts on telegram from ESP32 cam board. As you can see I have replaced the default lens and used wide angle lens. ASP32 cam can be widely used in various Internet of Things applications. It is suitable for home smart devices, industrial wireless control, wireless monitoring, QR wireless identification, wireless positioning system signals and other Internet of Things applications. ASP32 cam is a dual mode board which comes with inbuilt Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth capability. ASP32 cam board comes with micro SD card slot as well so you can store data locally. In this project we need PIR motion sensor. You can use any type of sensor. Here we used SR501 PIR sensor. We also need serial FTDI module to upload sketch from Arduino IDA. To upload sketch connect FTDI module 5V to ASP32 5V ground to ground TX to RX and RX to TX also short GPIO 0 pin to ground on ASP32 cam board in normal mode just remove jumper from GPIO 0 pin to ground Let's have a look at the sketch link of the sketch available in the description below At the top of the sketch enter your Wi-Fi name and password then enter your telegram token number and chat id if you don't know how to generate telegram token and chat id please watch my previous video link of the video available in the description below when any movement detected in pir sensing area it will generate high signal and code to capture and send image to telegram bot will be executed there was an issue sensing angle of sr501 is around 110 degree while field of view of default camera lens is too less and due to this limitation object detected around the borders camera lens FOV was not getting captured. So I replaced the lens with wider field of view. In this code we have defined GPIO pin 13th for PIR motion sensor. You can change this if you want. Now connect the board in programming mode as per diagram we saw earlier in this video. Now in board selection choose ASP Rover module, select 921600 as a upload speed, in flash frequency select 80 MHz, keep flash mode as AQIO and partial scheme as huge app, check the image in this video for more details. Once you wired up the ASP32 cam board to the FTDI module, plug it in the PC and hit upload button. During upload process both TX and RX LED will blink rapidly. Now set up everything on the breadboard for the testing, refer the diagram for the connection. You can keep FTDI module as it is during test. Later you can supply 5 volt power using LiPo battery or any other power source. Now let's test our setup. Put any object in front of the camera and you will get image alerts on your Telegram account. Congratulations your project is successfully completed. You can put setup in dummy CCTV camera and use it for actual surveillance.